Today we're going to go over a few quick tips that you can use to improve your Bronco time. And the most easiest thing you can do to improve your time is to change or improve the way that you turn every interval, or every distance. Now in the Bronco test, you're going to turn 25 times in total. So even if you can shave off a fraction of a second each turn, that's going to have a big impact on your overall score. We'll show you what we mean. Okay, that's one example that we don't want to do, where you take a bunch of little small stutter steps and then you turn. Here's what we want it to look like. Approach the turn, turn the back foot and accelerate back out. So now that you know how we want you to turn, put that into practice. Every time you're doing your Bronco intervals in training, practice slowing down, focus on the turns. That's gonna make a really big difference. Now the next thing you can work on is using a timer. Let's say you have a targeted time in mind. Maybe that's five minutes. Well, because you're doing five Broncos, that averages out to 60 seconds per Bronco. So you can use a timer or you can have a coach or a teammate help you to keep you on track. If you start your first rep and let's say you finished it in 50 seconds, they may actually ask you to slow down to, to achieve that 60 second mark so that you can be consistent. If you start too fast and you tend to crash at the end, this is a tip for you. So now you know how to turn and how to pace yourself. So we're gonna talk about accelerating out of the turns. Now you remember how we wanna turn. So as I come towards the cone, I wanna turn my body and then forcefully accelerate myself out. Even if it's just one or two short steps because you're stopping and halting momentum even when you're really fatigued it might not feel like you're accelerating but it's going to help you to get back up to speed on your intervals okay and the last thing that you want to do before you start this especially if you're testing is to get your heart rate up go through a thorough dynamic warm-up and then hit maybe one or two broncos at pace, use your timer uh, to hold yourself accountable to the time that you're aiming for, elevate your heart rate, take an extended rest period to bring it back down, and then begin your test. Best of luck. Let us know if this helps. You can like, comment, and subscribe. We would love to stay in touch. And for those of you who are looking to elevate your rugby game, head to our website or use the link below to check out our Perform memberships. Use the code RR20 to save 20% off your first month.